All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got a pretty interesting little video for you today. And we're going to do it on 2018, Mr. Olympia runner-up, Phil the Gut Heath, versus 2001, Mr. Olympia runner-up, Jay Cutler. Now, I already did a comparison video on 2001, Jay Cutler, versus 2013, Phil Heath. And I'm pretty sure Phil came out on top by a point. So I'm so curious to see how the 2018 Mr. Olympia version of Phil the Gut Heath fares against the cut above the rest at the 2001 Mr. Olympia. Because in my opinion, 2001 was the best Jay Cutler to ever step foot on a bodybuilding stage. He was even better than 2009, in my opinion. But I digress. So guys, with that being said, let's get right into this one. Because like I said before... This should be a very interesting video to say the least. So guys, without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And right away, I'm going to go with Jay Cutler. And you guys know I love Phil Heath in the front relaxed pose, but not in 2018. I mean, just look at how big and wide that fucking midsection is on Phil Heath. Now, if Phil had a really tight midsection like Jay Cutler, I would go with Phil Heath on this pose. Because Phil really holds a great Great, great front relaxed pose. But Jay Cutler, woof, with that tight ass midsection, those crazy ripped abs, great V taper, unbelievable set of quads. So all in all, Jay Cutler's gonna get the first point for the front relaxed. I just think he looks a little bit better than Phil. And like I said, if Phil had a better midsection, Phil probably would have took that pose. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep. And look at Phil Heath in 2018. His tricep in 2018 was unbelievable. His arms were really good in 2018. I mean, look at how thick that tricep is. And it's really deeply cut. Because if you guys know anything about Phil Heath, he always had a really thick, big tricep, but it was never really deeply cut. Now, Jay Cutler, on the other hand, has a really nice side tricep, nice and thick, but against Phil Heath, uh-uh, he ain't winning that pose. So, Phil Heath is going to get the point for the side tricep. All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the front lat spread, and this one's going to go to Jay Cutler. I mean, Jay Cutler is just wider. He's got thicker lats. Uh, the silhouette just looks a lot better. Phil Heath looks very, very sloppy in this pose, and look at how small his fucking chest is. Then look at Phil's quads. They're all washed out, so Jay Cutler's going to get the point. Phil doesn't even have any visible cuts to the quads in that pose, but I digress. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And I tell you, Phil Heath from 2012, 2013 on had one of the best rear lat spread poses I've ever seen. 2018, it probably looked the best. I say it all the time. It looks like he has a piece of armor on his back. Then look at his lower back. I mean, his lats are so sunk in. It's not, I mean, his traps are so sunk in. It's not even funny. So Phil Heath is going to get the point. Jay Cutler, though, he's pretty wide and he's got great traps. I mean, I never really liked Jay Cutler in this pose, but he looks really, really good, but not up against Phil Heath. So Phil Heath is going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the uh, side chest shot. And look at Phil Heath's side chest, man. It really, really looks like it's deflating. That left pec looks like it's deflating like crazy. I say it in all the Phil Heath videos. I never really liked Phil Heath in this pose. Jay Cutler, his side chest is popping a lot more. And he just looks a lot better. The silhouette looks a little bit better. Phil Heath just looks really bad in this pose. So Jay Cutler's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular. And Phil Heath, even though his midsection's protruding like crazy and his chest is kind of small, he still holds a great crab most muscular with those big-ass shoulders and arms, great traps. Even his quads don't look too bad in this pose, so... Uh, Phil Heath is going to get the point because Jay Cutler looks a little shallow in the crab most muscular. He doesn't fill the pose out too well in that pose. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to grab the point. All right, guys, now we got the ab and thigh. And, of course, Phil Heath is going to get the point <laughs> in Phil's dreams. I mean, look at the difference in midsections, man. Jay Cutler is so much better. I mean, Jay Cutler looks like he has an eight-pack going on. He's got great obliques, a great serratus, and those abs are so deeply cut with that great V-taper. Phil Heath just looks like a real sloppy fucking mess in that pose. So Jay Cutler's going to grab the point there. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep, and I'm going to go with Jay Cutler on this one. Jay Cutler's arms are bigger. 
Phil's arms might look a little drier, but Jay's arms are bigger. Jay's got a better V taper, and the silhouette just looks a lot better. I mean, if Phil Keith had a really tight midsection, he would look a lot better in this pose and the front relaxed, and a few other poses for that matter. But I digress. So Jay Cutler's going to grab the point there. All right, guys, now we got the uh, last pose of the night. The rear double bicep. And um, Jay Cutler looked pretty good in 2001 in the rear double bicep. But I think 2005, Jay Cutler looked the best in the rear double bicep. That's just my opinion. But I can't go against Phil Heath. I mean, it doesn't matter what year Phil Heath it was. I mean... His rear double bicep is like untouchable. I mean, here in 2018, it wasn't the greatest. And he wasn't that wide looking in 2018. Jay Cutler looks a little bit wider. But Phil does have better hams and glutes than Jay Cutler in this pose. So we are going to go with Phil Heath. Because like I said, I can't go against Phil Heath in the rear double bicep. Phil's got a great rear double bicep. All right, guys. So let's tally him up. We got Jay Cutler 2001 with five, and we got Phil Heath with four. So it was five to four, and if I had more pictures for you guys, it probably would have been like eight to four, because huh. Jay Cutler was way better in 2001 than Phil Heath was in 2018. And like I said earlier on in the video, I did one on 2013 Phil Heath versus 2001 Jay Cutler, and I think 2013 Phil Heath came out on top by a point. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.